Hey there, YouTube. Welcome to Big Mike Beard Wisdom. So, it's going to be winter time. Leaves are falling. The sky is looking gray. It's chilly. <laughs> so now's a good time to start transitioning some of the stuff, like the lawnmower, over to like a storage mode. I don't do a whole lot for my lawnmower, but what I do do is essentially add a little bit of fuel stabilizer into the cans, and then. This may be the last time I mow the lawn for a while. So it'll get a nice tank of stabilized fuel that'll hopefully work all the way through the carburetor. That way it's got nice stable fuel for next year. But real quick, I already added some stabilizer to this for like the right amount per each can. And these cans are actually really kind of cool because they last together. So if you ever get a chance, you ever see them, they're kind of neat. They just kind of slide back like that, and you can carry them. And I got the two different sizes, just because the top one is kind of smaller, easy to transport around. The big one's more of a storage one. So the top one's only about 2.5, the bottom one's 5. And then, once the gas has worked through the lawnmower, I'll pretty much just park the lawnmower. But, next up will be the snowblower. As far as the snowblower goes, it's always best to try and check it out before the snow starts flying. <laughs> so to make sure she's good to go prior to actually needing it. And for me, what I basically do is all summer long, I fire this up about once a month. And like the last time I, that I use it, I add in, you know, a fair amount of fuel with a stabilizer in it. So this is starting to get a little low now. So I'll go ahead and I'll add some of the stabilized fuel into this. I was hoping to make a lot less of a mess. <laughs> but we'll go ahead and make sure the fuel key's pushed in. It's set all the way to full, full rabbit. <laughs> Choke is all the way up. We'll give her a tug. Probably should have primed it first. One, two, three. So, we know this should theoretically fire up. <laughs> and then it's got some fresher stabilized fuel in it now as well. So, should the snow start to fly, I think I should be good to go. Now, a lot of my lawn equipment, though, is battery powered. So, I'm going to want to take all these lithium batteries and bring them inside. So... If you read the instructions on a lot of them, most of them will wind up saying that you don't want them to freeze. There's a train. <laughs> I'll normally grab a five gallon bucket and throw the chargers and the batteries in here and bring them inside. And then they can either chill out in the basement or in like the office or something like that in the off chance I need it. Now, last year I brought this inside and left the batteries kind of handy just in case of a light snow. And it did kind of work out reasonably decent. So using the snow blower in case it's a light dusting it makes really quick work of a light dusting. Anything beyond a light dusting, I wouldn't recommend doing it because then you're just sitting there trying to make a lot of noise in the wintertime and not doing a whole lot. <laughs> and then the last thing that I'll do is I may disconnect this battery just to make sure that it's in like the garage and maybe put on a charger. That way it makes it through the wintertime. This one's been a pretty good battery. Looks like we got this back in 2016. So it's lasted at least five years. And it's kind of one of those things where you can put it on a trickle charger or you can leave it in here and hope for the best. It may be okay. So the last two years, I've just kind of left it in here. And the lawnmower started up perfectly fine. But it might be one of those things where if you've noticed that maybe your lights are a little dim or, you know, maybe there's a little tough to start it that your battery might be getting weak and if you want to try and help your battery last another season then definitely go ahead and remove it and put it on a trickle charger that way it's maintained all the way through the winter and then maybe even do that down in like a basement or like a room that you're not currently occupying that'll be safe to charge your battery in 
That way the battery stays nice and toasty warm all the way through winter <laughs> and is ready to go come spring. So, hope you guys enjoyed the video. Feel free to like and subscribe, and I'll check you next time. It is way too early to be digging those suckers out. <laughs>